again. What different strategies can you use to add and subtract? Okay, so today that's the question we'll be answering. Boys and girls, hands up real quickly if you can think of a strategy that you have learned that you would like to that you would like to be using today. One of your favorites. Lauren, what are you thinking? Make a 10. Make a 10. Okay. Thumbs up if you make if you like to make a 10. Okay. Anytime we can, that's a good one. Another strategy. Jason, can you think of one? Counters. Oh, you could use counters? Of course. Here. How many do we have? Fourteen. What do we have? Twelve. Let's count them together. Ready to begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So, if we got those, do we have a ten there? This is equivalent to what? A ten and how many more? Two. Two, two more, that's right. Let me draw them. Two. So, I could get rid of those, right? And I can put these tens together. Boys and girls, three tens and one ten is how many tens? Four tens. Four, four tens. tens. And how many ones do I have? Two. Two. So what's the answer, boys and girls? Four tens. Four tens. Two. Okay. Does it make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Sure. Okay. Boys and girls, please um, put your mark in the next. Oh, you could use base ten pieces or base ten blocks. And what's one of your favorite ones to use? Tanner. Base ten. Okay, that's one of your favorites to so make a ten. Jaren. Doubles plus one and doubles minus one. Doubles plus one, doubles minus one. Dylan. Make a ten. Okay, that's a make, we like to make a ten. Brody, can you think of any others? Knowing Counting on. Okay, all good strategies. And I know you have lots of strategies you'd like to share, and we'll have time to, to use those today. So hands down. Boys and girls, let's look at today's model drawing quickly. Eyes up. Ready? Read. Imagine that our class is collecting paper bags for an art project. And Ian brings in seven more bags than Jaren brings in. Jaren brings in 35 bags. So how many bags does Ian bring in? Go ahead in your workspace, figure that out. And Jaren brings in 35 bags. So how many bags does he bring in? Boys and girls, how many bags did Jaren bring in? 35. 35 bags. And Ian brought in seven more. What's the operation, boys and girls? Addition. Is it addition? Thanks for the good models. I see lots of different kinds of models. I see some part, part, whole models. I see some number bonds. Some people are using some base 10 blocks to show. How many did Jaron have? 35. Let me turn my pin on here. So, 
It's 35. What's the equation, boys and girls? 35 plus 7 equals 42. Equals 42. Okay. Now I saw some somebody that did their model like this. And of course, my drawing isn't as good as hers was, but how many tens, boys and girls, are in 35? Three. 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 How many ones do I need to draw? Five. Help me draw them. So, what does this represent? 35. 35. And then, how many more boys and girls? Seven. Okay, and the person I was looking at, they drew how many ones? Seven. Help me draw them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Okay. What do you need to do next? Is we can just see if it's true. Okay, if it's true or if it makes sense, is it reasonable? Okay, does it look reasonable to you? Yes. Boys and girls, thumbs up if it looks reasonable to you. Who can share their thinking about why you think that is a reasonable response? Mm -hmm. Jaren, what do you think? Uh, I think the odd are the easy. Okay, so it, that's one thing. What else? Lauren, what are you thinking? Um, 13 is 0 plus 10. 10 and 10 plus 5 is 15, and 15 is 0 plus 18. Thumbs up if you agree with her thinking, yeah. So it tells us it's reasonable. Samuel, go ahead and take your seat. We're going to call somebody else. I know. 6 plus 4 equals 10. So I put a 0 there. My group is 15. Thumbs up if you agree with that, boys and girls. And Savannah, what place did you start in? Started in the one. And and why did you do that? Because I like how So do you always start in the ones place? Yes. Okay. And we've learned in that standard algorithm that that's probably a good way to do it, just in case we have to regroup. And we can do our problems quickly, right? Yeah. Okay. What place are you going to start in, Tanner? The ones place. Okay, good job. Because I might the regroup. All right. And I know 3 plus 7 is 10, so I got, so I'm going to regroup with the tens place in the tens place. And then I'm going to go into the tens place. I know like 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 plus 2 more is 5. Thumbs up figure with his thinking. Okay. Boys and girls, looking at that one, how many uh, properties of addition will we apply to that problem? Tanner, how many? Okay. Three. Okay, three. What are some of the uh, properties of addition we apply to that? Lauren, what's one? Okay, so the additive identity property. And Lauren, what is the additive identity property? Dissociative property of addition, which means what, Brody? What does that mean? It means that if you have three atoms, you can put them in any order. Okay. Could we have more than three atoms? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sure. And it doesn't matter what order we put them in. Okay. Very good.